hello again right well the next job that i've done because as i say i'm just taking it easy i've gone through my um these strawberry beds next to my netted enclosure and i've just basically done a, a bit of weeding um there's still one or two bits left behind um, but it's certainly a lot better than it was so I'm quite quite pleased about that um, and I've taken the courgette plant out well I'd already taken it out but I left it on the surface that's gone out of here and I've put six of my foxglove plants into it I'm not sure whether it's the right time to put them in now but we'll see Hope, as you know they do die back and they come back the following year so we'll see <clears throat> they've got a little bit of shelter here so hopefully they'll take and they'll be all right for next year which will give me um, some nice flowers in this little bit of a corner um, and obviously the flowers attract the bees and the bees we need for the raspberries so it's a win-win situation right um, these beds really need to be sorted soon but I'm a bit reluctant to do anything while the dahlias are still flowering so really I'm, I'm, I guess I'm waiting until the last until we get the first frost uh, once that happens then the dahlias will be all cut back um, and then they'll be uh, dried out and they'll be kept in the for the winter and once that happens, it means that all these other plants, a lot of these which are holding some of the dahlias up, uh, I can get out as well. That's the only reason why I've left the, um, like the cornflowers and that, because they're holding up some of the dahlias. If I remove all those, these are all gonna, it's gonna disturb the system. So, uh, so I'm just leaving it for the moment. Just look at the rudebeckers over in the background with some dahlias intertwined with them doing really well I mean we are nearly at the end of September uh, we're coming um, close now to uh, night for us and just look just look at these rutabacas aren't they beautiful and you know what I'm not even sure whether I actually um, sown the seeds for these. I think they must have been in uh, some of the mix what I sprinkled over. I know I did, I did have a, I did grow some rudebecca, but I think I could have swore there was only a couple of plants what I had left. So whether these are all coming from those two plants, then maybe so, I don't know. But anyway, they certainly brought some lovely colour. Just look at them all. Look at it, it's fantastic. So much beauty here. I mean, you, see, you certainly don't see that many allotments with some nice flowers. I know some people frown upon having flowers on the allotment. Um, they say it's all for reg and fruit. Well, they mostly say for reg. They don't really even talk about fruit. Um, but for me, it's been fruit. Um, we've we've had plenty. Uh, not been as long a season as we would have liked, but it's it's not been bad. Um, and the free one of the freezers is full. We've got two freezers, the stand-up ones. We've got a five foot and a six foot high, purely freezers, no fridges, and um, and they are. I'm going to say the five foot one is absolutely full up. Oh, just Did you see that? Wasn't that beautiful? I don't know what it was. If you're watching, you can tell me. Oh, it's back again. It's come back again, folks. What is it? Is that... I hope you can see that. I don't know whether... Um... I think that's too, too close. 
Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh well. Right. Yeah. So, um, so for me, it's all about uh, flowers and fruit, really. And I do grow a few veg, um, but fruit we eat a lot of. And it's been a terrific year all round. Apart from the strawberries, but that was no fault with the, the plants. It was because I transplanted new plants and moved old plants at, uh, at the time when I shouldn't have done. Um, not that you'd know now, because these were all the plants which were... They were in pots, just like these. And as you can see, they've been cut back twice to, um, to the bare roots. And they've... Oh, look! Is it following me around? Just look at that. Hey, I think it likes me. What is it? Just look at that. What is it, folks? Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's cheered me up for today. That was a nice little uh, added bonus to the video. Right. So, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yes, these have all made nice plants now. You can see um, they're going to they're gonna be big plants next year, and I think we'll get a good crop of uh, fruit off these. But, uh, oh, look, we've even got strawberries on them, and some of these late ones, the flowers. <laughs> But, folks, if you look at the ones that I transplanted from the, the runners, what I've put in, they're all looking good. Just the odd uh, loss, you can see, but uh, can't grumble with that. There's probably around 80 plants in there, plus a few weeds, what I've got to go through. Um, So they'll be they'll be the ones that will produce the fruit for 2017. Uh, we'll get one or two off them next year, but there won't be a great deal. Right, let's have a little. Let, oh, let me just shut that door because we're going. To, not that we really need it shut anymore because there's nothing in there to bother about. <clears throat> right, the plums. I've taken them all off. I, I left some dodgy ones on to feed the birds. So there's a few dodgy ones left on here, and that'll give the birds something to eat. Um, now the apples, I've got to check um, and see what these are like, whether I can take them off. So Brayburn, some of them have got scab, um, but I'm going to check, see whether they're ripe, and if they are, I'll, I'll, I'll sort through them, take all the good ones off, and, uh, and uh, take it from there. to say the everything else is gone all the others we've had terrific amount of fruit off these plum trees these two here and the pear trees and even the tree at home a little apple tree what we'd kind of neglected and we had th um how many did we have 40 apples off it big apples it's terrific Right, as you can see folks, I've got a lot of tidying up and I'm just, I don't want to uh, jump the gun and, and get stuck in just yet before, <laughs> before the <coughs> while I'm not feeling 100% and I don't want to get worse. I just can't afford that. <coughs> oh, I might as well just have a quick peep over at the, uh, the perennial beds what I put in. In fact, let's have a little peek because I've not really bothered to go in here, you know, and look around. But just look. Let's look at this, folks. I don't know what these plants are. I'm going to say, uh, I... <laughs> I wasn't brought up with, uh, with these sort of things. But look, you can see. I, I thought they were almost like nettles initially. I think I pulled one out somewhere and then I realised they're not. I don't know what they are. If you can tell me what these things are. There's the leaves. 
be appreciated. And I don't know what that is. What are these plants what I've put in? <laughs> Do they just have nice green growth and uh, no flowers? Or I don't know. It's all exciting, isn't it? We've got dahlias what I've put in here. And again, other perennials. I, can, I know we've got some poppies in here. And um, are they snapdragons down there, I think? Um, but there's lots of inter interesting flowers, probably for next year. And let's look at the dahlias. These dark, um, dark leaf varieties are Bishop's Children. They're absolutely beautiful. And just look at some of the flowers. Look at that. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Just unfortunate that we have to have times of the year where everything starts dying off and, you know, you, due to the weather you get health or colds and illness, you get behind a f by a few days, but I'll catch up. There's nothing to pa panic about. I've pretty well got mine um, organised so it's manageable. Um, I think the weeding what's here, I could probably, two full days and it would be, all look respectable again. But I think sometimes you need to uh, see what it looks like at its bad times. <clears throat> I still haven't got round to doing the Logan Barry or the one at the back of the tunnel. And I'm, I've got to get it done in the next couple of weeks before it's too late. Um, so yeah, that'll... You know, I haven't forgotten. I'll get it done. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching.